Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And if you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. And, and for all my returning viewers, I really appreciate you watching. My most popular videos are skincare, and those are my least favorite to do, and I try not to do too many of them. If you end up liking my video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe, that would be wonderful. I usually only upload at 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, Central Standard Time, so you don't need to be notified. That's pretty well where you'll see me unless I take a day off. So today I'm going to talk about my favorite older brushes that I've had in my collection. I know one of them that I'm going to show you is probably 27 years old. Some of them are probably six old, years old. I just wanted to talk about the brushes that have been kind of my workhorses throughout the years. Um, of course, when I started out wearing makeup, we had the sponge tip, tip applicators, and there's still a place for sponge tip applicators, but brushes were far and few between. I remember that little brushes came with your blusher, and that's what we called it, blusher, and every once in a while I still call it blusher. And you know, I didn't, back in the day, I didn't know that you needed to wash them. And I can remember having little tiny bumps just where I put my blusher, and I decided I was breaking out right where I put my blusher, and I knew it wasn't the blush, so I started washing my brushes. And I think my very first set of what I consider good brushes was in my 20s, and I had the full set of Mary Kay brushes. I thought they were great, and I was so excited to get them. And throughout the years, as I find new brushes that I enjoy, I always wash my brushes and give them to my local friends and family. And that's something I always do when I get brushes, no matter how expensive or inexpensive they are. I always wash them well and let them dry before I use them. I'm really excited that Mary from Glitzy Fritzy, the channel Glitzy Fritzy, has her own eye brush collection, and I am going to do a get ready with me using those. And as soon as they are back in stock, you all need to take a look at them. This is the brush that is 20, I think 27 years old. And I'm, and I'm gonna put it behind the pad so you can see it. It has a slant, the top, the top of it is slanted, and the bottom of it is a small brush. I love this brush. I don't know who made it. I know it's been a really good brush. And what I really liked it for was like when I did a two eyeshadow look, I could just load the eyeshadow here and there and then just take it and go across my eye. I don't have any eyeshadow on today. This little slanted in was perfect to put shadow underneath your eye and I don't do that very much. But this brush was excellent. And I'm gonna go from more expensive brushes to more affordable brushes. I think it was about six years ago, I about bought a set of Trish McAvoy brushes. They were face brushes and eye brushes. Trish McAvoy brushes are cruelty free. They are not vegan. Most of her brushes have uh, natural bristles and they're a lot different to work with than the synthetic brushes or hairs or bristles or whatever. You have to take a lot better care of them, in my opinion. Probably one of my very favorites from her is this eyebrow brush. And it is made of natural hair and it is very, very dense. So I haven't been doing anything to my eyebrows with the exception of using a clear eye gel. But what I loved about this, and I couldn't find anything like it, I would just stamp it into the powder or to the pomade when I used it and I could just go right through my eyebrows and this would go to the skin and darken it and I just loved it. I mean, I bought quite a few brushes trying to find one that was as good. The IT Cosmetics eyebrow brush that has a spoolie. This doesn't have a spoolie, which you would think I wouldn't like, but it was so worth it to use this and it's just a special brush. I don't even know if they make these brushes anymore, but if they do, I will link them below, but I'm not sure. Last time I looked, you couldn't find this, but this is definitely a favorite. And the next one is the Sheer Application Eyeshadow Brush. I should have brought something else in, but I didn't think about how hard it would be to see my brushes. I love this brush. This, I'm not sure if this is natural hair or not. What I love about this is so often I will just do a one eyeshadow look, or I will put powder on my eyelids instead of eyeshadow, and I could just 
dab this in and natural fibers do pick up more product than synthetic which sometimes is good and sometimes is it's not so good but I would just take this get a little powder on a little eyeshadow and just go across my whole eyelid like that I really don't know if it's natural or synthetic but it because synthetic brushes now feel so good they used to they they used to not feel near as good this is a natural hair contour eye brush and it's very similar to this one this one's larger but I like it for the very same reason you just I just would load just the end of this up with eyeshadow and right here and just go like this and I could get my crease and right above the crease and it's just been one of my favorites the next Trish McAvoy eye brush I like so much I have two of them and this is the everything brush it is round and slanted and I had this and I lost it and I kind of did without it for about a month and I liked it so well that I went ahead and ordered another one so I have two of them and this is perfect to do any detail work right here underneath your eye you know sometimes I just want a little bit of shimmer right here and it'll just it'll work so well I probably have probably about seven or eight more Trish McAvoy brushes but the ones I showed from Trish are the ones that I just thought were absolutely excellent I have a whole lot of it cosmetic brushes but there's four that are just pretty special to me for one reason or another and I think of, of the brushes I'm going to show you there's only two that I have purchased outright the rest of my brushes have all come with a set from QVC and there's one brush that I have that was sent to me from it cosmetics but the rest of them I got with a purchase which I always think is a really good deal the first one is the heavenly Lux brush and I'm not going to do all the numbers I've bought several of these and I've bought several of these for gifts I have the original one I use today I have on just powder some it cosmetics powder foundation and and this end right here is so perfect just to go right around here to get above your eyes and if you want to put a little powder on your eyelids this works too but this has been just such a versatile and good brush and I don't ever want to be without it it is so soft and pliable that if you're very very careful you could use this to also apply blush but um, I really like this brush of course I like it because I, these, these are these are everything that I really like a lot the next one is a double ended no tug eyeshadow brush and I have two of these and these I know came with a purchase I like anything that is gentle on my eyelids when I put on eyeshadow I don't want to have a lot of movement I, I don't want to I don't want to make my eyelids wrinkle I don't I just I just want to be able to put something on and they are so gentle it has a narrow end short narrow brushes it's dual ended you can do detail work with this and and I just really think it's a great brush of course I do you've heard me speak about these a lot because I love them and I talk about them a lot the superhero four-in-one brush that's the fluffiest that's the next to the fluffiest and that's the most dense and you can do a whole eye look just using this and also it has a slanted end that you can use for eyeliner you could use for eyebrows or you could do for lining underneath your eyes and the last one from it cosmetics I don't have not used recently but I had to talk about it because when I used to use concealer this is what I used all the time and it's called the dual airbrush concealer I would use this end and I'd get my concealer and I just pat it on and then I would use this end that is protected to blend it in and it worked beautifully I, I really liked it a lot so I just had to mention this one this is the brush I use most for blush because it is so soft and it is so loosely packed I don't really have a he heavy hand in too many things except for lipstick but this is perfect for me to dab in the blusher these are all synthetic hairs and put my blush on and if I ever get wild and crazy and use a highlighter this is what I would use for it but this came with a purchase and I like it
A couple of years ago, I found a set of eye, eye brushes from EcoTools, and it's their Daily Define Eye Kit. Well, these are four of the brushes that I use the most. This one, you'll be able to see how it's shaped for the same reason for my slacker ways. I can load it up and just do a really quick eye look. I can put eyeshadow on my eye. I can bring it up, and, and I really like it. I'll put the, the set up here someplace. I think the set of, I think there's six brushes are usually around $9, but every one of these brushes have been very helpful. This one is very small and it does a real good job just placing eyeshadow, especially if you want to do a shimmer, it'll just place it exactly where you want it. My favorite eyeliner brushes are from Real Techniques and I always have two because if I use gel eyeliner I don't double dip so I have two brushes and I can and I can load this brush and do one eye I can load this one and do another eye sometimes one dip will do enough but I don't want to go back in and contaminate my gel but these are so thin and they're identical so I really like those and my last brush that I have today is also from Real Techniques and it is a lip brush and I don't use a lip brush very often but sometimes you need one and what I like about this, it's retractable. You put the cap on and it comes up. You take the cap off and it goes up. So you just bring it down like that and use it to apply your lipstick. And so those are my favorite workhorse brushes that I've had for at least two years or longer. And if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. And I've been wanting to do this giveaway for just a little while. First of all, this giveaway is international. You have to be 18 years old or older. You need to be subscribed to my channel and my giveaway will close in three days. I always close it on Wednesday morning. I put this up on Sunday and close it on Wednesday morning after six o'clock. And because this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to your comments on this video, but go to any video if you have any questions or just want to chat and, and you know I'll get back to you. You know I've been really pleased with ColourPop Cosmetics. And some time ago, I ordered several of the Going Coconuts. I don't need any more eyeshadow. I don't need any more. I really don't. And this has never been touched. And I'm going to turn it upside down and show you these are the shades. And they're wonderful eyeshadows. So that's the first one. This next one I got with an Ipsy. I got the Ipsy big bag that I bought and I decided I didn't want it, the Ipsy big box. I mean, I, I think I got it for two months and I just really didn't need any more makeup. But I love this and I hope you do too. This is the Day to Night palette. If that isn't cute, if you're not familiar with the Balm Cosmetics, you need to go look at their website or look at them. I think they're sold in Kohl's, but you know I never go anywhere. Again, this has never been touched, hasn't been breathed on, and this is what is in this palette, and I think it's adorable. And to go with your eyeshadows, you're going to get some Superhero Mascara. It's my favorite, and uh, I can't help it. It's my favorite. A set of six brushes from LaRousse, and these were also in the subscription from Ipsy. And I didn't touch them. The, the things are still on them. There's three eye brushes and two face brushes. And this brush will also be in there. It's from Complex Culture. And this is to put concealers and especially to go into this area. I haven't touched the brushes, the bristles, and I'm just putting it right back in. The... So to be entered in this giveaway, all you have to do in the comment section is use the word brush in a sentence. You can tell me what your favorite brush is. You can just say, I don't have any. I do not have a brush. Just use the word brush and you will be entered. And I will announce the winner in my next video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you so much. It is all good and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Be sure that the brushes are sure to try to so if you, it's nothing huge, but probably three months. And and if any of you, any, it is all good.